Hey folks, this is Rick with Hit and Run Candlesticks. Today is Monday, May 3rd, 2021. Market closed about eight minutes ago. Thought I'd get this video out for you real quick. Um, man, I gotta tell you, this... Well, well, one positive thing about the market, I'm getting a lot done around my yard because I'm getting up and doing things around the yard. Even took a walk today. Uh, when the market is dead, take advantage of it. And the market is dead right now. It's absolutely dead. You can see we're just moving sideways. We get this, this up-down chop going on. Um, I've got a uh, trend line drawn here. And what I'm using is the three-bar chart. Make, put that back where it was supposed to go. So, tell you what, it's easier if I just get rid of them and we'll put another one up. There we go. There you go. I'm going from uh, this low here in April, April 22, to this little doji right in here, um, April 30. Looking at that, um, I see that as a little short term trend, and that's what I'm going to be using. I'm also going to put something across the top here um, like this. And, you know, if you wanted to do something uh, down a little bit, maybe that might make some sense to something here. But that's getting pretty fine. So we're good in here. So uh, today, uh, here's our first bar today. We gapped up, but we gave up some. Second bar today, again, this is the three bar chart we gave up a little bit more. And the third bar chart today, we gave up a little bit more uh, on it, just coming back. I think the big thing here is watch this. If we start seeing a little weakness and we start breaking down, um, well, basically, if we can get below today's low, start turning that trend decay to red. These, red, red, these green dots, see this how red right here? If this starts turning red tomorrow, then that may be a problem. Um, that would set us up to come down. And here's the 50 period moving moving average right there. Keep in mind, this is the three um, 130 minute chart. We call it a three bar chart because it's three bars in a day. Here's a daily chart, and that puts us somewhere around 115 and a quarter. Which I think if we get 115 and a quarter, we just might come down and test these lows. So. Keep your uh, eyes open on this and be careful. Be careful. Um, let's see. The diamonds, I think, were uh, probably the best today. Uh, nice gap up, and for the most part, they held. We pulled back from the highs, but we certainly did, uh, did hold in here. Here's what that three-bar chart looks like. Up and a little bit of pullback. Uh, could be set up here for, uh, let's say, a three-eighths trap. On the three bar chart that's very possible we'll just have to see though we'll have to see outside of that everything is pretty rotten looking if you ask me uh, transports are looking pretty good um, FNGU I guess rotten was a poor word until you come to this chart uh, FNGU is looking horrible uh, just don't like that at all the only positive is just maybe maybe there's enough support in here to bring in some buyers, we'll see. So, um, we're in various positions. Uh, XLE is one, and uh, it's looking pretty good here. So, right now we have a nice little move up, nice little pullback, and we may be starting to move up again. So, XLE is looking pretty good. We've been holding SLV. Um, nice gap up, uh, held up very well today. Maybe we're on track. Wow, actually, I would think so now. We might be on track to fill this gap here. So we'll see what happens. And, and it certainly could pull back, relax a little bit. You know, typical chart pattern where uh, we go up, back a little bit, and then up. Could certainly do something like that. Uh, but Holding SLV, and that seems like it's working out pretty good. Um, had a little fun today. Took a couple bets, or not bets, but challenges. Had one of the members say, if you buy KMI, K K M I, I'll buy KMI, is what he said. So I said, okay. I took a look at it. It looked pretty good. So for fun, uh, pure fun, 
we did. We bought some KMI, and uh, he bought some KMI as well. And uh, I did post this out on the app. Uh, we'll see how it works out. But I do like the chart. Another one we did for fun, and I started this one, uh, N-O-K, Nico, Nick, Nick, <laughs> N-O-K, N-O-K, Nokia, there we go. Um, I told uh, Sean in the trading room, uh, I, or I said to him, didn't tell him, uh, said to him, I'll tell you what, I'll buy Nokia if you buy Nokia. He said, okay. So I bought some Nokia, uh, using about 450 as a stop here. We'll see what happens. Let it kind of kind of move around. And this is another one. I sent out on our app. So if you are a member uh, or a trial member, um, if you don't get, you know, if you don't have that app downloaded, please do so. If you have troubles or you don't know what to do, let me know, and uh, we'll certainly see what we can do to help you. Um, what else do we have here? Well, let's take a look at some charts. Take a look at ship. If you're into a dollar dollar chart, check out the volume on ship. That's looking pretty good. I kind of like the idea of maybe an inside day tomorrow. Um, now, for those of you that know, I have a Robinhood account. And um, I, uh, um, I bought some uh, SEAL, S-E-E-L, oh, a few weeks ago. I sold it the other day for 40-some percent. I'm also holding some uh, Dogecoin in it. Uh, and open that up with uh, somewhere between seven eight hundred dollars. I, I have just under ten thousand shares of it, and uh, it's worth forty eight hundred dollars right now. So doing pretty well with that one. And th this is where I might trade some low price stocks like this. So uh, in my regular trading account, I'm not going to trade this, but this is one that I might trade over in my Robinhood account. And uh, so we'll watch for a little little pullback here and uh, see what happens on that. Oh, by the way, um, I'm in a kind of a quandary here, a little bit of a dilemma. Maybe somebody can help me out, post in YouTube or send me an email uh, your thoughts. Uh, I'm not convinced I want a Robinhood account um, opposed to a Webull account. So if anyone has any uh, inside information, you know, if you've used them both and you say, well, this one's better than this one for whatever reasons, please let me know. Um, I sure would appreciate it. And then I'm going to set one up permanently uh, for some things. So uh, anyway, thanks. I hope you do. Um, here's that Nokia. Um, I like Nokia right now. We are long Nokia. And uh, a stop of 450 is what I have on it for 450. Yeah, I should probably change this a little bit boom 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 there we go stop of 450 here and uh if it pulls back and consolidates i just might add a little bit more uh, i'm really looking at for it it needs to break out of this these three candles right here if it breaks out there we go you know i don't know 10 10 percent move plus and and it could certainly get back up to those highs it's possible uh, that might be a stretch. I, I probably won't keep it that long. But even if it got up into this body over here, we're 20, 30% on this. So uh, I'll, I'll post more information on this on our app, you know, when if something happens. Uh, DHI. DHI, this is a great looking chart. Uh, honestly, if it came back below yesterday's low, I wouldn't like that. So I would suspect this would be a pretty good stop for me right in here. About that uh, 48, I say below yesterday's low here. Um, so what, what, what that really means for me is anything above that area, I'm going to be bullish on. Now, uh, I get it. If some people want to wait for a breakout, that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, truthfully, I think, you know, this whole area right in there is where everyone's trying to maybe buy right now. So uh, just let it let it come to you. Set it up. Make sure you have a plan on it. Big is also a nice chart. Uh, love the bullish Hiromi here. Love the breakout. And love the one, two, three, four, five candles that are just consolidating right there. Quite nice. So uh, in the trading room, we talked about this. And it totally makes sense to me to have been a buyer today. It also totally makes sense to me uh, to wait for a breakout. 
the reality is, if you wait for this up here, you're not missing anything. Not at all. If you get it down here early, you're not gaining anything. So, um, I mean, the whole idea for something like this is, is you know, let, let's get up here. Let's make some money. You know, don't fart around with a little bit of a buy it here and close it here, uh, you know, a little 3 4% move. So it really won't matter if it's bought up here versus down here. Beautiful chart. I think it's awfully nice. J&J. Uh, &J. Now, J&J, &J, it makes sense if you buy it in here, if you have a plan. Uh, I think I'm going to get maybe serious about J&J &J on a breakout here. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to be looking for. Uh, great candle pattern right in here. Um, yeah, absolutely great. Nice trend. Moving sideways with a with a uh, uh, upward, uh, higher lows, giving us that wedge, ascending triangle. Uh, so we'll watch for that breakout. That's when we'll be looking at it. I know a lot of people that bought it in here today. So looks good. Great three-bar pattern in here right now. Uh, fast. This is one of my favorite charts today. I didn't buy it, uh, but it is one of my favorite charts today. I, I love the three-bar chart pattern here. Um, I love the way it... Um, it rallied up and then has pulled back here. I love that. Uh, so this looks pretty good. Right now, I would have to say I would not like it if it, uh, well, we're going to, no, I, as much as I want to go down here, well, let's just see, what is that? Say tomorrow, well, you know what, we could do that. There we go. I'm not in it, so it's easy to set it up this way. Um, I would not like it below 5180. So below 5180 is bad news to me. So that would be where my stop is. Um, if I bought it somewhere between the high of this box, the low of this box, that's about 3.3% risk. Honestly, I would like to buy it on an inside day of yesterday or today, excuse me. So below that area. So now the max is 2.7%, and if I can get it somewhere in this area, that gets it under 2% risk. So uh, fast, fast and all, F-A-S-T, I think it's setting up pretty nice. Uh, MDLZ, also nice. We talked about this one last week. Today could have been the trigger for some folks to get in. I still think it's a pretty nice chart. I still think it's setting up. It's just a matter of, you know, one, being in it, and two, it going higher. And, uh, with this consolidation, I like that. It's worth a look for me. Uh, like I say, I did not buy it today, but a little bit of consolidation here. Uh, I could see picking this up. Okay, so um, again, I want to remind everybody of below. If you check the links below, we have uh, our 30-day our trial, which includes the app. So if you're interested in Hit Run Candlesticks, check it out. Click on that. You get your 30-day trial. You also get the information on how to set up the app, and then you'll receive alerts, uh, adjustments with charts, or uh, just market info, things like that, that we send out on the app. Hey, have a great, great evening. Thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Please leave some comments, and if you have any insight on that Robin Hood or the uh, Wee Bull, uh, let me know. And maybe there's another one out there I should think about. So thanks. L look forward to hearing from everybody. Appreciate it.